हेलो एवरीवन प्रणव ये वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल मेरा नमस्ते आप सभी को हर गुड टू गुड इवनिंग फैंटास्टिक एज ऑलवेज सो टुडे आई एम हियर अगेन विद अ बुक रिव्यू एंड द बुक व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टुडे इज अ सेल्फ हेल्प बुक व्हिच इज अमेजिंग नाउ इमेजिन स्पेंडिंग 20 प्लस ईयर ऑन अ प्रोजेक्ट ट्रैवलिंग ऑल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड एंड डॉक्यूमेंटिंग इंटरव्यूज फ्रॉम सक्सेसफुल पीपल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड दिस साउंड्स क्वाइट ओवरवेलमिंग राइट बट द ग्रेट न्यूज़ इज मिस्टर नेपोलियन हेल्प Did this for all of us, and he shared this priceless knowledge put into such simple words to whoever desired to learn and become wealthy. And I know, guys, by now you might have guessed the name of the book. I am talking about Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Think and Grow Rich is readily available to anybody, literally anybody who wants to breathe in success in their life. It's a simple representation of learning from successful people who have paved the way. And you guys might be thinking and excited right now that what this book has in store for all of us. What are the key points which has author mentioned by following? We can achieve this success as well. Let's deep dive into this book and see what this book talks about and the key points which the author addresses. So without wasting any time, let's start with the video. like the first key point is thinking our thoughts because they are really powerful and it's a formless substance according to mr hill thinking is more conducive to success than any other thing including money education or specialized knowledge in particular field like everything in existence is because of thought like for example the two wheelers the car we drive In fact, the mobile or the laptop with which you are watching this video right now is is in existence because of a thought. Mr. Hill sums up thinking as the collection of initiative, faith, and willingness to win and achieve. It. Now, a question arises: How bad do you feel? Which brings us to the second key point, that is desires. We all have different sets of goals and dreams for ourselves, for our family members, for the community which we live in, and the society. So, have you ever asked this question to yourself? Is my dream so important that I will do whatever it takes to achieve it? And why I'm asking this question is because our desires are the bridge between our thoughts and action. So, it is really important to have. desires a strong desire to achieve our dreams to give you a single tip which i use in my life is to have an emotional attachment to a desire to my thoughts which will drive me crazy if i'll not be able to achieve it the next important key point which author addresses is having faith and with having faith he means having 100% faith on yourself your thought and your desires which you want to achieve there will be obstacles around you for sure but these obstacles should not break you from within did not shake your faith because it's your dream it's your thought it's your desire to achieve you have decided you have taken the ownership of path, walking this path so there will be people talking bad about you or bad about your ideas and i believe as a saying goes if your dreams are not too big and people are not laughing which means you're not doing things which is worthwhile and whenever you feel low whenever you feel that your faith is get shaken then do go back and rewind and think why you started this thing this will give you a boost and will make you start it again another key ingredient is knowledge and in this book author addresses and talks about two kinds of knowledge one is general knowledge and another one is specialized knowledge what is general knowledge general knowledge is something which is famous for having garnered through schools and universities or google maybe but it is not enough to create wealth so author put emphasizes on specialized knowledge because it is one of the key ingredients to success it is really important to have a specialized knowledge in a particular industry which we work on the particular products and services which we provide because if we will have not enough knowledge about the industry about the products and services then why the other people will buy from us so it is important to have a specialized knowledge the next key point is imagination and this reminds me of an amazing 
quote which completely reflects on the theory of this book by Sir Albert Einstein which speaks about imagination is more important than knowledge and knowledge is limited imagination encircles the world like we can literally translate our thoughts into existence we can create whichever our mind conceives and deems to be true it descends that our mind can be both blessings and the curse our greatest ally or our worst enemy if properly directed our mind can become the catalyst for progress and development on the other hand a contaminated one will surely harm us and make us our own victim so it is really important to have creative imagination in a right direction by being positive but sometimes what really happens is that because of imagination we imagine a lot we start daydreaming and that is we don't take action in the right direction so which brings me to this amazing line the amazing say well done is better than well said which brings us to the next key point are you a decision maker or a procrastinator procrastination i believe is the main reason why people aren't happy about their life they procrastinate about themselves they procrastinate and think too much about other people opinion on them and their life they do and when they see successful people they see what if like seriously so mr hill says a very simple sentence action equals decision making so go out and do something and then excuse yourself and not the other way around there will be people giving you feedback believe me they are just opinion respect their opinions and regardless do your thing and the most important thing is make a decision and stick with it no matter whatever it takes ha the, the, there can be a situation where you need to change it but should be in the worst case scenario so you have vision desire faith imagination knowledge everything but what's next the most important thing is alliance your tribe because your tribe is your wife it is very pivotal to surround yourself with the like minded people with whom you resonate with an intellectual perspective that can give you noteworthy insight and speaks from where you can draw inspiration from like uh, it says that you are the average of five people you interact or most of your time with like for example if you're surrounded with five millionaires then it is highly possible that you are the sixth million so decide your tribe because your tribe is your five the next key point which i'm going to address right now is quite awkward and it's not talked about publicly So but anyway I choose to talk about it because it's about sex transmutation. Now you guys might be wondering that what sex has to do with success? Well, it influences way more than you can think of. Our sexual impulse is one of the most important desire we experience as human beings. Through the transmutation process, we intentionally redirect those sexual energies towards other objectives enhancing our creative faculties. in the pursuit of those objectives as a result now i have a question for you like anything which creates a human body don't you think it's very powerful and if it's used in the right way in the pursuit of our objective it can weave magic literally magic i am not talking about in physical sense but in internal sense the next key point which i feel is one of the most important key point is our subconscious mind Like our human being consists of two kinds of mind: conscious and subconscious. And subconscious mind is the archive of our predominant thinking pattern, and it acts accordingly. It doesn't think logically; it just accepts in whatever way we think of. So, if we think about wealth and success, then wealth and success will come to us. But if we think of negative thing, then negative thing will come to us. By the way, guys, I have made a. In detailed video about the book Power of Your Subconscious Mind. The link is in the description box, and even you can see in the I button above my head. So you guys can go and watch and see in detail how you can use your subconscious mind to make a difference in your life. The final ingredient, the final point, which author addresses, is about fear, and it has two meanings. 
forget everything and run or face everything and rise it's your choice like i believe that and the author says that fear is the biggest hindrance in the path to financial mental and spiritual success it has stopped many people from achieving their best selves and it will also stop you if you will allow it mr key has faced several uh, fears which he considered the worst but i'll be sharing only two of them which i believe is the biggest hindrance of all they are about fear of poverty and fear of criticism number one is fear of poverty poverty and wealth cannot coexist you either want one or other so if you desire is of becoming wealthy then decide how much riches you want to accumulate and make it the point to completely refuse poverty in your the second one is about fear of criticism and this one is my favorite guys because i have received so much of love letters so much of love mails from my people from my fans that whatever i do like beat anything uh, the any step i take for doing something new i get, receive a fan mail i hope you understand by what i mean about fan mail and this is something which really breaks us emotionally which broke me emotionally which broke me completely from within but what made me keep moving and keep doing those things is that one simple thing my desire why i started my journey and i really want you guys to ask this question every single day whenever you wake up and whenever you go to sleep why did i started this journey so this is pretty much about the book and overall i believe that it's an amazing book to read and the best part which i like about the book is mr hill will hold your hand and will walk you through the process the only thing you need to do is follow and impress the journey to success i'm sure that you guys might be uh, excited about to read this book so what will i do is i'll put the link in the description box from where you can grab yourself a copy thank you so much guys for tuning in and watching my video and if you guys feel that i was able to add value then do like this video share it with your friends and family and do comment below and let me know that what will be your next action what do you think about this book and if you guys want me to review on a certain book then do let me know in the comment section and i will be more than happy to review that book for you for now i'll sign off and we'll see you next week again with the book review and i hope that you guys will have a smashing day mera namaste aap sab